Welcome to this video on how to find the top users of bandwidth on your network. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netport.com. So the issue we're going to take a look at today is where you've lots and lots of users on your network, but you're finding that bandwidth consumption is increasing, and maybe even costs. So before we can figure out who are the top users of bandwidth on my network, we need to implement some sort of a monitoring solution that's able to report on things like top users. Now what I'm going to do is a similar exercise you can start yourselves is to sketch out how your network is configured. So on my network here I've got two core switches and those are interlinked for redundancy. I then have a bunch of switches in different parts of the building connecting back to the core and this is referred to as the access layer. I then have my servers connected directly into the cores, so I've got things like a web server, file server, database server, Active Directory, proxy server, so they're connected directly into the core switches. On the Hanging off the access layer, people are PCs plugged in, laptops, wireless access points, which gives people with laptops and smart devices, gives them access to the network. And by the way, these where your servers are plugged in, that's typically referred to as your server VLAN. It's usually a separate network, separate virtual network. So it's just something we're going to look at later on when we want to set up monitoring on the switches. Coming off my core as well, I've got some routers which connect my WAN sites. So many WAN sites out there, they all come back through routers directly connected into my core. And I've also got a firewall connected which gives us internet access. So how can we find out on this network who are the top users? Let's see, take a look at some of the typical ways this network is used. So I've got a user here logged on to this PC, and they send a request here to copy some files down from a file server. File server sends those files back through the network, and then the user can open them. So the thing I want to point out here that that transaction or that data had to pass through one of the core switches to get to the user. In another example here, we got somebody on the wireless network, and they want to go to the web. So they send the request through, goes out through the firewall, website sends back data, back over to the user. So again, that transaction, that went through one of my core switches. Here we have a user out on our WAN. So this user, she wants to copy some data from a database. So she sends through a query, comes out of the router, through core one, up to the database server. Database server sends back data, out to the router, back through the WAN, and the user can then take a look at whatever data query that she ran. So again, this transaction went through one of my core switches. So how now can we monitor what traffic is going through our core switches? Well, we need to do some work. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a server. So for the LangGuardian software, and that's what we're going to use to take a look at traffic going through the core of my network, you need something with at least two network cards. So this system here, is ideal, we actually got four network cards, you don't have to get anything as fancy as this, but you do need to get something with two network cards. Go to our website, www.netfort.com, and download a free trial of the Netfort LangGuardian software. Instructions are given on the web page, or you can also Google install LangGuardian, you'll find instructions there as well. So back on my network, I've got my LangGuardian installed, and the next thing I need to do is plug a cable from the LangGuardian to core two, and also the core one, so they're standard network cables. For those blue cables there, you do need to note what port on the core switches that you plug those into. On my network, there's a third cable, that's the management interface for LangGuardian. You can plug that in, plug it in anywhere, that really doesn't matter. Just has to be plugged in somewhere on your network. And that's some monitoring basically in place. Now the next thing we need to do is set up monitoring on the switches, and I'm going to show you an example of that now. But I do want to point out here at this point, we had, did not need to install any agents. We don't need to modify your servers. We don't need to install software all over the place. So to monitor users on this network, just get your LangGuardian installed and plugged into the core switches. The one bit of information we don't capture from the switches is the Active Directory, um, the specifically usernames. LangGuardian queries the Active Directory domain controllers and pulls that back. Now there is an option to also capture from network traffic the usernames but by default it captures them from the AD, um, the domain controllers on your network. So now that I've got the LangGuardian plugged in, let me show you an example of how to set up monitoring on a switch. 
So you've installed the Land Guardian, you've connected the server to each of your core switches. So the next thing you need to do is set up a spanning session on each of your core switches. So I'm logged on to my Cisco switch here. If you don't have a Cisco switch, if you Google the name, make a model of your switch, and either span port or mirror port, you will get guides on how to set up your switch so that it can copy or monitor traffic. So I'm logged on to my Cisco switch. First thing I want to do here is run the command show VLAN. And I'm looking out for here, what VLAN number do my servers, is associated with my server. So in my case, it's VLAN 1. You just need to write down any VLANs, in your case, that's associated with your servers. So the next thing I want to do now is go into enable mode. And I'm just actually going to run the command as well, show monitor. Um, so I don't have actually span configurations here at the moment, and that's fine. If you do have a span session set up, just take note of the number. There's, you're allowed two span sessions on a Cisco switch. So let's go into configuration mode now. So on this switch, I've connected the LAN Guardian to switch interface number six. So we do monitor session one, source VLAN one. If you've multiple VLANs, you just you put in one, then space comma two and five, whatever the, whatever the list is. So I've just got one in mine. Now on this particular switch I'm using, I have to specify RX for your switch. And there's only one or two switches you have to specify RX. You don't need to specify it at the end. So the second part of the command is to do monitor session one destination interface and I plug mine into interface number six on the switch and that's done so I didn't log on to core two and I do the exact same thing so I check my VLANs check the monitoring sessions set up a monitoring session and just make sure you specify the port where you've plugged in the LAN Guardian so now let's log on to LAN Guardian and show what are the top users of bandwidth on my network So I'm now logged on to the Network Land Guardian. So let's find out who are the top users of bandwidth on this network. So I'm going to go to the left-hand menu here. It's going to go to bandwidth, IP, and simply just run top users. You can select whatever time period you want. I'm just going to look at the last 24 hours. Run the report. You get a list of usernames, sent received, and total traffic. And we can start to drill down. So Windy here in sales department generates 3.24 gigabytes of data. Now you can start drilling on a lot of iTunes, proxy traffic. Let's drill down the web traffic here. So you can keep drilling down to get the details. So it's been on Microsoft, Pirate Bay, and a number of sites. So if you do find some something like this, something suspicious, somebody on Pirate Bay, you can also go to the home page and take a closer look at what's been happening here to be in. So Wendy Fagan. Oops. And not only can we, we can go back to look at the traffic report for this user, but we can drill down and take a look at web activity. So for example, on uhi.com, drill down and find out what pages they've been accessing some, some, some sort of proxy system here on the uhi.com website. So a number of options exist here. You can do top users, top clients, top servers, even top talkers. So just get your LAN Guardian installed, connect it to the core of your network, and you can get reports like this on your network. If you want to find out who are the top users of bandwidth on your network, please go to our website, www.netfort.com, where you can download a free trial today.